Hello my friends. Hello. What's good? Do you want to know how to make a future house banger drop from scratch? Yes. Okay come with me. I'll show you. I will teach you the most important steps to achieve a great banger. Okay. First and foremost, a very important step for you is called songwriting. You always have to start with an idea or an inspiration first. You need a great melody, bass line or chord progression. Otherwise your track will not be a banger. The best example of that is Avicii. Just listen to his beautiful melodies. They are super melodic and they stay in your ear. Also Mesto or Martin Garrix. These guys creating melodies that catch your attention. Just try to jam around on your piano or on your piano roll and try out different melodies until you got something cool. Keep in mind that this is the whole foundation of your song. In this video I wanted to show you a banger that is from Mike Williams and Mesto because I love these melody and I think it is a very good example. I mean, listen to this melody. It is just very catchy. When you got a nice melody, continue with your sound selection. This part is also very important. I wanted to have a very heavy and strong lead that hits you in the face. Therefore I took some nice sounds from my future house pack. Lead 10 in Serum is a nice straight sound that fits very good in this kind of genre. It sounds so big because it has 16 voices of unison and a good amount of detune. To make this lead even more powerful, I compressed it with the OTT and distorted it with the decapitator. That makes the lead hit even harder. To make it more clean I cut out some low frequencies and I wanted it to make it more wide, so I took a reverb. But guys listen carefully now. If you throw a reverb onto it, it will sound not so clean. To clean it up, I took the fruity peak controller and I linked the reverb into this peak controller. Then I play with these knobs till I have the result I wanted to have. No my reverb only kicks in when the lead is not playing. When you process the reverb this way your lead will sound much cleaner. But when you think we are done here with the lead, you are wrong my friend. We have to make the lead as powerful as Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Therefore, I clone the exact sound, but I put it into another channel. I do the exact same things as I showed you before, but I process the reverb differently. I put it on 100% wet and I give it a very short decay time. With this technique you put the lead in a little space and it makes your sound even more thick. Then I threw a kickstart on top for the pumping side chain effect. Then guys I searched for another lead sounds from my cylinder to give it even more body. And then I was almost done. To give the lead sound a little extra juice I gave them a pitch automation. Just set the pitch to 12 semitones. Touch this knob. And then click here. Click on last tweaked. And create automation clip. Then I automate the every area when the lead starts playing. It just sounds a little bit more interesting I think. And this is how the leads sound together my students. The next thing is the bass line. The bass line has also to be very fat. Therefore I searched for a couple very fat and gritty presets. For example they sounding like this. I put all the mid basses in channel 3. I cut out the very low frequencies and some of the highs. I put a kickstart on top and together the mid basses sound like this. The sub bass is in channel 4. I boosted the very lows a bit with the equalizer and with the R bass. To make the bass line extra fat I have done a little trick. I took the very gritty bass 9 and let it play only at the beginning of a bar. And I put it alone in channel 5. I gave it heavy OTT compression, distortion with the overdrive, even more heavy distortion, and then a reverb at 100% wet and a very short decay time. It sounds like this. But when you think we are ready with the bass line you are wrong. I also took a brass stab from my future house sample pack and I let it play the same note as the bass growl.
and I show you the most important trick to make the bass line unique. I take tape stop plugin and automated a tape stop automation. The whole bass line sounds like this. For the drum loop I took two kicks. Then I took three claps. Make sure that the claps are very short and snappy. Then I added pre-shifted claps for extra punch. Then guys I rendered out the claps, redragged it into my project and reversed it. Then I took an impact sound and a crash sound. All the used samples here are from my future house sample pack by the way. My lovely friends, now we have the lead melody, the bass line and the drum loop ready. This is a very strong foundation of a future house banger drop. But we need to fill it up a bit and make it more full. I noticed in the original drop some white noise that is playing the whole drop long. I recreated it with the 3x OSC. I put a reverb on it with 100% wet and a very short decay time. For the second part of the drop, I added a whistle sound that plays the lead melody. And then guys I filled up the song even more with stuff like a riser. Or in the second part of the drop I added some ha hats and a crowd noise for even more power. And I added a sweep transition. And for the drum fill I added a little drum fill. I also created a synth fill which is very Mesto style. I show you how you can recreate it. You basically layer some saw chords with white noise like this. Clone these chords are modified by adding more detune. Play around with another saw waves till you have a nice result. I acute them like this, and gave them a reverb at 100% wet and a very short decay time. Nice. The last thing I added was a clarinet sound that plays at the end of the drop to give the track more dynamics and keep it interesting. And we are done my friends. Before we listen to the drop I have to tell you that you can get these sick FLP for absolutely free with all the used samples and presets. Because every day I get messages from people from India and they want free samples. So guys, just download the FLP and get some free samples. And I also have a future house sample pack on my website which includes over 300 samples and presets for Silent One, Serum and Spire. No guys we are listening to the drop. But guys be careful, it's gonna be loud. One, two, three, four. Guys thanks for watching. I love you.